One of the great moments in our sporting history arrived when that remarkable yacht from down under, Australia 2, snatched the America's Cup from the USA in September 1983. With a winged keel which gave it almost mystical power, Australia 2 was indeed a radical boat and its unconventional designer, Ben Lexon, became an international celebrity overnight. The interesting thing is, Ben Lexon had done it all before. Back in 1959, when he was just 23 and still known by his earlier name, Bob Miller, he turned his inventive mind to Australia's iconic 18-foot skiffs. What he did then was design, build and sail an even more radical boat, Taipan, which blitzed its rivals and changed the shape of racing skiffs in Australia forever. Up to that point, 18-footers were still relatively heavy and cumbersome, displaying their workboat origins. By comparison, Taipan was lightweight, decked in and streamlined with a hull shape for planing. It even had fences on its rudder and an end plate on its centreboard, anticipating that famous wing keel that would appear on Australia 2 more than 20 years later. Many years and many owners after its spectacular entry on the scene, the revolutionary Taipan, now vastly modified, was donated to the Australian National Maritime Museum. And then, in 2005, the Australian sailing community, led by friends of the late Ben Lexon, rallied in support of the old champion to raise funds for its restoration. With virtually no original drawings to work from, the museum set to work, scouring newspapers and other publications for images and descriptions of the boat. Old photographs were borrowed and valuable details gained from interviewing many of Ben's sailing mates. All this information was put into a report and a set of plans to define as closely as possible the boat's 1960 configuration. As the heritage shipwrights started work on the boat, further evidence of the original structure came to light. Original features were treasured, but all non-original material had to go. Importantly, the rebuilding work was done with traditional tools, techniques and materials wherever possible. New sails were made using the old methods. Even the original sign writer returned to repaint the name on the side of the boat. Finally, the restored Taipan was launched on the 18th of November 2007, exactly 48 years after it was launched at Norman Wright's boat shed in Brisbane. And it not only looked just as it should, it put in a champion performance on the water. Everyone can now see firsthand and in detail how the genius who designed Australia 2 changed the whole concept of skiff sailing in Australia, achieving new levels of speed and excitement.